Hello friends. So you must be knowing Apple is holding its annual conference in WWDC 2020 on 22nd of June which is tomorrow and Apple will be launching iOS 14 tomorrow. But will you be able to install it tomorrow right away? And what are the different iOS softwares available and what softwares you can install or you should install and how to install them? So today I'm going to answer all these small questions which will help you to understand this iOS software releases. easily and you will decide which software to install on your iPhone so firstly let me tell you how many iOS softwares you have available on the market there are total 3 iOS softwares available one is iOS commercial version then iOS developer beta and then iOS public beta so firstly let's talk about this iOS commercial version this is the iOS 13 software that we are using from September 2019 so it is available for all supported devices and it is completely free but this is not the iOS 14 version that you are going to get tomorrow so stable version of iOS 14 that is commercial version of iOS 14 will be launched in september or october of 2020 so if you are a casual user like me you are not going to get this ios 14 tomorrow yes you can see the presentation you will see all new features but you won't be able to install it right away on your device now let's talk about the second type of ios software so this is ios developer beta which apple is going to release it tomorrow most probably so this is not a free software you need to pay 99 dollar a year and sign up for apple developer program and then you can install this software on your iphone yes you can do that if you want to but you need to spend that money and if you do so you can install this ios developer beta tomorrow itself so if you are interested in enjoying this ios 14 developer beta software you can do it tomorrow itself you can install it right away on your iphone and start enjoying ios 14 but i don't recommend it these developer betas are not for casual users like you and me they are for developers you need to have separate device to install it they are very buggy this is just first release of ios so they have lot of issues lot of bugs apps will crash will have battery issues so casual users should not install it on their primary devices this is mainly for those developers who are developing apps for us and the stable version will be released in september and october which is commercial ios version so i feel you should wait and enjoy the stable version if you don't want to lose any of your data and don't just rush and try to install this ios 14 developer beta on your iphone if you want to know more about this apple developer program i'm going to put some links down in the description below you can visit those links study what it is exactly ask me if you have any questions and then you can proceed installing your developer beta profile on your iphone now let's move on to the third and final ios version available for everyone which is free which is very interesting also and many people want to install it on their devices so this is called ios public beta software so what is this software this is basically a developed version of your ios developer beta software so whatever apple is going to release tomorrow after 3 or 4 weeks apple will be releasing first public beta of ios 14 so if you want to install this public beta this is completely free you don't have to pay anything you just have to sign up for this ios public beta software program and then you can get this software free to install on your devices obviously on supported devices so this will be the ios 14 software that you all want to install not developer beta this is public beta this is also is not recommended to install on primary devices but frankly speaking i am installing it on my primary device since last 3 4 years and i haven't faced any issue actually i haven't lost any data yes i faced issues like app do crash then iphone reboots then you face issue with battery health your iphone heats up you face issues like this but then i never lost my data but apple don't recommend it installing it on your primary device if you have spare device you can install it and if you want to take a small risk then you can definitely install this ios 14 public beta on your iphone i am going to put a separate tutorial in the description that will help you to install this public beta profile on your iphone and once the ios 14 public beta software is available you can install it right away on the same day so that is after 3 or 4 weeks after tomorrow this will not be as smooth as the software which is going to be released in september or october this 2020 but this will be little stable and you can still enjoy new features of ios 14 so how do you prepare for this ios 14 public beta installation so what you want to do is firstly go ahead and do your 
your iTunes encryption backup. Make sure you do encrypted backup and then you want to keep that backup safe. Do not override it after installing iOS 14 public beta. What I want to say is once you have this iOS 13 backup on your computer, copy it and save it to external drive if it is possible or somewhere else on your computer so that it remains safe and your iTunes will not override it once you install iOS 14. Why it is important is once you have iOS 14 and if you start facing any issues, you can again go back to your iOS 13 and you can restore your data from this iOS 13 backup. Will you lose any data? Yes, you will lose some data. You will lose the data between the dates you took your iOS 13 backup and the day when you're restoring it. Because between this period, you're using iOS 14 public beta and there is no backup for this. Last year, we had a small trick which allowed us to retrieve all your data from iOS 13 to iOS 12 without losing any data. I had prepared a tutorial for that. But this year, I'll have to go and check if that works. And if that works, I'll definitely make a separate tutorial for that. But for now, you have to understand that make iTunes encrypted backup, keep it safe. Then only you go ahead and try to install this iOS 14 public beta software on your iPhone. What you need to understand is you cannot restore data from higher iOS software to lower iOS software. For example, you cannot restore data from a backup of iOS 14 to iOS 13. So you should always keep iOS 13 backup ready in case if anything goes wrong with iOS 14. Normally it doesn't happen. It never happened with me, but just for a safety. Can you downgrade to iOS 13 if you're on iOS 14? Yes, you can. The only thing is you will lose that data between the period when you started using that iOS 14 public beta software. So you need to keep that in mind. If you are ready to take that risk, wait for three, four more weeks and you'll be able to install your iOS 14 public beta software on your iPhone. I'm going to install it on my iPhone XS, which is my primary device. And I'm going to uh, use this iOS 14 until September and October. Then I'll convert my iOS public software to iOS commercial software. Yes, that is also possible. Once you install iOS public beta, you can convert that into iOS commercial version or you can install latest commercial iOS version even if you are using iOS public beta. So you can switch from public beta to iOS commercial version. There is a separate tutorial for that, which I will link again in the description. And I do that every year. I use iOS public betas from this June, July period to September, October. And once commercial version is available, I switch back to commercial version, which is very stable version. And if you're like confused between this public beta, developer beta and commercial version, I would simply say wait until September, October and you will find a stable iOS 14 release install when it is available then and that would be better for you. So ultimately you're going to get this iOS 14 on September, October. And if you're interested, you can install it after three or four weeks, this iOS public beta. And if you want to install it tomorrow right away, you need to sign up for this Apple developer program and pay $99 a year. So I hope you guys understood what are the different types of iOS software available, which one you should install and what are the probable dates of release. So that was a small summary that I wanted to share with you all. I hope you guys found this video useful. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one.